Welcome in once again to the YGO Fresh Off The Press community, where we analyze the current post trends and forecast of the Yu-Gi-Oh! markets. We're here to feed the endless eternal Yu-Gi-Oh! cardboard market watch addiction, guys. You guys already know. Fear the energy, the good vibes. That's why you're here with Jay out of the Fresh Off The Press community. You guys are amazing, man. Honestly, look at that. Just a day ago, a 1.4K video, man. That's astonishing. Just mind-boggling to me still to this day. 10 plus months in, going on 11 months, almost a year in. Man, I'm just ever eternally grateful. Thank you so much for this beautiful community. You guys are the MVPs. By the way, episode three of my podcast, for those people that hadn't listened to it, every, you know, weeks or a month or two after I release it on Spotify, I post it up on the YouTube channel. So if you haven't caught that yet, make sure you do. Just great advice, man. Super underrated podcast. I mean, I know I'm not a podcaster, you know, I'm, that's not my focus. But at the same time, I feel like I do a great job. And that's just my story, man. Great episode right there. Make sure you check that out. And then a uh, shout out to Jorge, man. Shout out to Jorge, a brand new member of the channel. Jorge Vieira. Man, Vera, Vera, man, who is my guy? I'm just bad with names, but look at that. Look at it. Jorge, man, thank you for joining in. It means a lot. Jorge, you know, has been putting up some comments about me drinking tea, feeling better, and things of that nature. I'm so grateful, you know, with him, and I've been answering his comments, and it means a lot, you know, to have another member of the channel. Um, You guys are the straight MVPs. I really appreciate it. So, Jorge, hopefully you can swing by the Discord. Make sure you take advantage of the members channel in there. And all the perks that you get as a member as well as the members video just catch up with some of those so thank you so much i'm just super grateful um jorge thank you for becoming a member of the channel definitely deserve um your shout out guys wow wow super stoked super excited um make sure you subscribe so you can participate in our 4k giveaway guys 410 410 billy tcg player gift cards are going to be handed out once we've reached 4k that's just around the corner man just one click right there boom you're in that sit ring that bell that's about it, man. SP Little. I always like making these type of videos every, you know, weekly. I like to revisit just the staples, man. The staples of the current medicine. I mean, just look at this card. It's SP Little Knight. The card that everyone needs in their extra deck. Shout out to, you know, um, I, I, I sold this in an, in an auction and whatnot. They got a deal. I think they paid like 120 for this. And look at that, man. Look at this card now. Just going parabot just like the channel spiking up still in a parabolic advance guys insanity 135s right here 17 listings and then at the bottom of the page after a couple of one-ups and play sets here 150s two pages on <laughs> excuse me <laughs> my bad guys excuse me. still robot j is still here guys when was the last time that you guys saw a secret rare from a course that be 150s man it's been a while just craziness insanity in the Yu-Gi-Oh markets honestly um Hey, man, like, what's going on, man? Look at this, man. Look at this yearly chart. <laughs> Insanity. We call the $75 billion low, uh, low here price. Um, the chart doesn't reflect that. Um, and it's crazy that it's up 100% almost, man. Insane. Easy, man. SP Little, and I mean, everyone needs this card. If you're playing competitive Yu-Gi-Oh, thank God I'm not, you know, because I'm focused more on Edison lately and go for it, Matt. Um. You need two, one to two of these. Insane. Imagine just coming to Yu-Gi-Oh! Just bringing a friend along. Be like, yo, um, let, let's play some modern Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what do I need? Yeah, you need two $135 cards, you know, just to start off. But then you need some bonfires. But then you need some wanteds. And then, you know, maybe you should throw in some cash here or Fenrir's in case you go second. But after that, maybe some thrust. Maybe a Typhon, you know, Sky Crisis here, one of, you know, one of, and then this and that. When you come and see, man, that's a couple of hundo. Man, I wish I might, man. This game got, this game got me going over to Edison, man, and go, honestly, man, that's crazy. I mean, because, I mean, I couldn't afford it. Uh, if I really wanted to, you know, I could get the deck that I want. But, man, like, is it worth it to me? Man, I wish I might, man. I'm not paying no rack to play some Yu-Gi-Oh. I prefer to pay $20 and go play some gold with the boys. But, hey, that's neither here nor there. Guys, SP Little Knight. Man, look at this card. What are we going to do with Little Knight, guys? I sold mine. Um, I thank, you know, thank you, the person that bought it on whatnot. They got a deal. And that's what we do on whatnot, guys. By the way, link in the description down below. Take advantage of your 15 Billy discount code. And uh, we're going to be doing a live stream pretty, pretty soon over there. We do cheap auctions, $1 starters. 
And, you know, that person got the deal on Little Night. You know what I mean? Uh, also a typhoon. I sold three of these in a Zeus, and the person paid like $100, you know, and just three of these is like $100, you know what I mean? So it's all about providing those deals over there, but Little Night is going insane, man. Let me know what you guys think about that one. Obviously, Bonfire, look at that V-shaped recovery. This could be the beginning of a V-shaped recovery for this card. It went as low as 80s, um, and uh, yeah, this card is a hundo. Triple digits, 16 listings, guys. You know what, man? These markets don't make sense to me. Like, honestly, this card just came out. If you need this card, just get it. Like, that's what I'd be doing. That's, again, don't do what Jay's saying, you know, necessarily. That's what I'd be doing. Me, if I need three bonfire, I'm be like, you know what? Well, let me get my three hundo and just get access to the card. I'm not going to play the game of waiting for the card to go lower. And then this and that. And then when the V-shape comes, you're going to be paying 115s and 125s for this. Just insane, man. Honestly, my humble opinion, my informed decision, you know, mindset is that this should reverse down and make a new all-time low and goes towards 75s, you know, at the bare minimum. But these markets don't make sense anymore. Honestly, you do see these walls here, but the demand is just crazy. I mean, it is. It is. It's just, man, it leaves me speechless. I mean, this card is already up $20 in the last 72 hours, reshape recovering, and the card just came out. I mean, it's insane. I mean, it is a good card, man, so... I can't blame people and you know a lot of fire support coming out meta shifting so that makes sense um and again there's v-shape recovering here on the charts that's a strong move honestly again if it's to play I would get my play set if it's to invest patience wins this game no need to rush in yeah it might v-shape recover but I mean I would wait it out I would wait it out maybe revisit the lows and then make a more informed decision once the chart matures a little bit more because this card just came out just crazy man we have transaction rollback. This one, you see a little bit, a little bit of a reshape recovery. It's one as well was as low as 35s and up to 41s, and eventually 44s and 45s. Four pages, only 31 listings. These cards are hard to get. Hazel hey, Millennia side set. Everyone's cracking them open right now. The packs, we get it, but these are not that easy to get as you would think. And um, the demand is too great. A lot of people, too many people want all these cards. And uh, yeah, supply and demand. Fundamental economics, you can see it here. Um, the demand is going up, so price follows demand. In that sense, when scarcity comes into play and supply is low, and you can see that this could be the beginning of a V-shaped recovery towards 50 billies. Let's let the chart mature in the next couple of days. One is Seeker of Sinful Spoils. This one had an all-time high of 125 billies. Now you see that strong curvature, guys. It's all about the charts. Men lie, women lie, the charts don't lie. And what are the charts saying? Let's go to the yearly. Look at this. One well, yearly. I mean, let me see this. Mm. Yeah, we, we can go to the six month. All right, guys. So <clears throat> let's clean this up, janitor style. We do see this has entered the double digit range once again. 56 listings. People are focusing on bonfire. Right now, the latest and greatest. Some people are probably selling this to get that, things of that nature. They're putting their extra copies to get bonfire. You know what I mean? So look, we had an all-time high. Retrace. Look at this retracement. Flooring here at the $100 mark. I mean, the next key level was $80. So if this $100 uh, level breaks and you see it 95s, 90s, we expect 80s. This was the previous pivot high down here between 75 and 80s. That's the next support level. But it's been a strong retracement. I mean, it's already down $25 from the all-time high. So again, this is another one. If you need this card, Based on the charts, the retracement back down to the mean, um, you know, seems complete, likely, based on probabilities. Yeah, can we go down to 75, 80s? Of course, that would be the next key level. But it's been a considerable retracement. If I would need the card and I wouldn't have it, I would come in. Same deal. Throw $300 at this place or this car, man. And just uh, pick up my place and live to fight another day. Just crazy. Insanity. Three of these, two little nights, three bonfires. Shh. That's like the rent, man. It's either play rent or play modern Yu-Gi-Oh! Meta Insanity. Imsetti Glory of Horus. Now, Horus are receiving a lot of hype. You know, a lot of different decks want to play this engine. And uh, yeah, you had a, a all-time high of 75s. So you trace back down to 60s. And now you can see the curvature, you know, once again. So what are the charts saying? The charts are saying that, yeah, this is going to be a $70 card. And we're pushing towards all-time highs. Again, two pages, only 20 listings. Honestly, guys... This is an uptrend. The trend is your friend until the end. Higher lows and higher highs. If you ask me based on the charts, not just my random opinion. Oh, because Horus is a meta card and a lot of people are you. No, no, no. We analyze the charts. Pro 
probabilities, math, the numbers, the evidence, the facts, fundamental economics, supply and demand. What is the chart saying right now? We're going to revisit all time highs. That's it. If you wake up and this card is 76, $77 towards 80s, that's it. We're entering price discovery mode. This card is going to be triple digits before you know it, just like we said that it possibly could when we were back at 55s. And that's what the charts are saying. But first, we have to come back up here and break the previous all time high. If that doesn't happen, it could be a double top and we might retrace back down to 60s and eventually 55. So keep your eyes out for this chart. Now we have Cash Tier Fenrir, an iconic card played at play sets by most decks. All time high of 28s, pushing 30s, retrace back down to 23s. And now you see consolidation with a little bit of a spike here. Again, look, we're still hovering just a hair above 20s. Here with the 23, we have a 19 wall, honestly, guys. So supply is coming in, you know. Um, so for this one, it's still in its retracement back down to the mean. 23s is that pivotal level right here. The next one would be 20s. You know what I mean? 20s, 18 to 20 would be that next range if this consolidation fails. But if it holds, then we would revisit the 28 to 30s. And if we make a new all-time high, then price discovery mode. So right now, excuse me, guys, it's just hovering, retracing the back down to the mean. So if you feel like you need this card and you don't have it, might be a good time to pick it up. Always with the downside risk that we mentioned. It's all about analyzing the key levels, guys. No one knows what's going to happen. It's all about probabilities. What do we have the best chance to get or to do with the charts? Um, you know what I mean? Um, and what's going on? My bad, guys. So what do we have the best chance jay is there a, a better probability that it goes up or it goes down right now with the little spike here you might revisit 25s first you know what i mean that's the little spike up here but again if we break 23s we're going to 20s that's it we analyze the key levels and we watch the charts we watch the price action me if i would need this card i would just get it right now honestly because it could push off the 30s and beyonds why because i mean you know, i take that back are we getting seven different rarities of Henry, no. Uh, you know, in the uh, 25th rarity collection too. I mean, man. By the way, that video is coming out in a couple of days. Stay tuned. Great speculation that we're gonna go through with that video. But, but again, if it's a play, you know, I'd do what I gotta do and I'd pick it up. But if it's as an investment, I already sold all of mine. I bought at 1350s, sold around, you know, around up here. That's it. Live to find another day. I could care less if this thing pops to 40s. I already took my profits. Um, so it is what it is, because I feel like this is going to get it. The card is too good. You know, Konami's going to want to milk this before they hit it on the ban list. That's just my humble opinion. Triple Tactics Thrust. Fresh off a of reprint from Maze of Millennia. Wow. 50s dumping down into oblivion. 40s. This is it. This is it. You need this card, you come and get it in now. Just my humble opinion. That's what I'd be doing. Yeah, can we see 35? Sure. But I don't think it'll be going much lower. This is a great entry price as the supply is coming in. But Thrust is Thrust. An iconic card we don't expect a further reprint anytime soon and as an ultra rare is a great more budget option honestly me i would go for the ulties but again if you're really sticking to your budget and you want the cheapest option 40 bills a pop is not bad for such a broken card um yeah i mean it's thrust man not too much else to say now we have superstar slayer typhon sky prices love to see this price action <laughs> excuse me guys why as you know your boy the stack is getting smaller because i've been giving some away i've been selling some and whatnot um you know what i mean but there's still there's still multiple r09s here you know even though we gave away um shout out to francisco a member of the channel he should be receiving his copy um uh shortly um in the discord he won the giveaway and then the other members that received our i think was it the 3.5k giveaway i think so you know we gave away play sets and look guys i basically gave away 40s man 40s that's 120 dollars worth man that's what we do we had to fresh out the press community man. we give back those people that receive these copies in their mail they're super excited they're super happy they're receiving 33 billion i told you guys this card was 20s then 25s and i said when we do the giveaway it might be a hundred dollar giveaway and it was as such look look at that 33s a couple of one ofs a play set look look at it look at it here quickly goes up you have an r9 at 34s 35s then look the walls are at 40s guys this is gonna be a 40 dollar card i told you and i've been telling you guys come on now why you think i bought like 35 of these man i put my money where my mouth is 
man. Look at the year, the stack, giving these away to the community. What we guys, these glasses, man. Yo, my back. Look, look, look. Yo, what you, you, man? Yo, you guys think this is this is not a joke, man? We always we always do fresh off the flashbacks. We've been talking about this car since it was 15. The shades look fresh off the press. You know what I mean? We've been talking about this car since it was $15, man. 15 bills. Man, come on now. Again, look at the stack, man. Look at these, man. Two R09s right here. When that's 40, was 18 times 40. I'm bad at math, man. Was 18 times 40. 18 times 40. Man, I wish I might, man. I wish I might. I got a place that in my binder. I got my personal copy. Man, I've given a bunch of these away already. I've sold a bunch of these already, man. Man, this is just, it's too easy. Robot J says it's too easy, man. Come on now. And who knows, man, it might be 50 bills, man. Your boy might get greedy and wait until 50. But at the end of the day, patience wins this game. I love it. I love to see it. I told y'all. Man, we've been calling. Look at that. Look at that chart. Parabolic. All-time high. Age of Overlord continues to give on. In a couple of day, or days, we're going to do a set review. The set just has too much value, man. So, you know, uh, hey, when, when Jay talks about um, uh, uh, Sky Crisis, you know the shades come on. But, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys are having a blast. Um, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. So, you know how we do here. The fresh off the press community guys that bell star the black witch another one retracing back down to the mean yeah but not too much man the demand is crazy still a 40 billy card another one that we were talking about when the card was 20s you see off the off time high uh, all time highs of 45s again another one that i don't see going back down too much 30s would be that floor price but i don't even think we're gonna get back down there 35s would be a stretch i mean the demand for these cards People don't expect reprints of all these cards. Now, in the 25th Rarity Collection, if these cards get reprinted, that'd be very surprising. But again, Konami needs to leave room, you know, for uh, the tins and the other reprint products in the year. So I don't think so, but you never know, man. This card, the demand is wild. Right now, the meta is on fire. The competitive scene is starting to ramp back up. We have YCSs coming soon. Um, So yeah, there's one in North Carolina in April. I think your boy, I wanna make it out there. I need to go to my first ever YCS in the US, man. Hopefully that's the one. We'll see what happens. So Chaos Angel, man, this one, look at these, $75, man. That's still, man, it quickly goes up to 80. Four pages, 32 listings. I mean, this could revisit triple digits, guys. So keep an eye out for this card. You know, we don't think this card is getting a reprint anytime soon. And the demand is crazy for this one. This Chaos Angel, meta, an extra deck staple in the meta. So you want to make sure you keep that one. Mine. Guys, if you need cards like Bonfire, we just reviewed today. Make sure you come over to Whatnot. $15 off. You can pick this card up. This one actually got sniped up. Hopefully, it was one of you guys, but you can find cards like these on Whatnot, man. Link in the description down below. $15 off, man. So you could have picked this up for what? 53s. I had a couple of shekels here and there for shipping and taxes. Under $60, man. Like 57s or uh, Bonfire. Psh. Take advantage of those deals. If you're new, if you haven't done that yet, one click gets you in. Come on now. Even, I know, I'm a lazy person, but if I could get $15 off, man, I'd take advantage of it. Short form content platforms, the Discord, over 320 people on over there. Make sure you join up. Um, we got the podcast, as we mentioned, and the friends of the channel. Shout out to Saki and the Semi-Limited Podcast and all these people. They are amazing. Make sure you check them out. Um, and destroy the like and subscribe button ring that bell right there again so you can stay in form of our fresh off the press content but also so you can participate in our channel giveaway man when we reach 4k we're just around the corner we're gonna be giving away 410 billy tcg player gift cards to four lucky winners so you want to make sure you subscribe just one click just double check if you're watching on mobile turn the vertical just click the button just double check for your boy it means a lot and none of this content is official financial advice it's for entertainment purposes only. Here we have the Bestial Lubellion. You know, thankfully your boy sold at near the all-time highs. And I told you guys, man. We're telling 1250s, talking about this card for months and months and months. Hit 27s, pushing 30s. And now we're back to the teens. This is not looking good, guys. Yes, it's a retracing back down to the mean. But we're currently at the pivot low. Things are not looking good. I expect maybe 15s for this one in the short term. Let's see. I mean, you have a 15 wall here. The demand is there. But we'll see. 
I expect 15s. That'd be a great extra entry price at just $2.50 above from the previous low here. Um, the scene of the crime. Who knows, man? Will we come down and revisit the scene of the crime? Scene of the crime is that point where we spiked up, you know, so where everything went down and everything happened. So let's see if this card actually gets that done. Guiding Quem the Virtuous, man. All time high of 75 billies retracing back down to the mean the 50s. 45s that's not bad guys me if i needed this card i would come in right now you don't know yes always a risk of a reprint things of that nature yes we get it but at the same time we don't know what's going to go on with this card and after this massive spike retrace back down to the main again a low of 35s would be uh, expected based on the charts and this pre previous pivot high but we don't get i mean we might not even get down there so i mean i wouldn't risk it right now this seems like a great consolidation level before re-spiking back up excuse me guys let's see what happens with this card but look people are still paying even 60s as of today at the time of recording for this card um so yeah make sure you keep it in mind we have big welcome labyrinth man we hadn't talked about this card in forever your boy sold at 45s and 50s i told you guys man I told you bought this thing at three dollars and fifty cents um bought four paid like 12 13 dollars maybe 15s after tax your boy sold what um I sold like a play set at around 30, 35s and my last copy at around 50s when we had that last move run up. Here says we're still at 27s. So that, I mean, yeah, but if you come in here, you see it's still a $25 card. I mean, it quickly goes up to 30s though. So the demand is there. People want to play Labyrinth now with transaction rollback. And you see the trend is still your friend until the end. I mean, the charts doesn't even reflect that push towards 50s. That's crazy. But um, yeah, the trend is intact consolidation back down uh to the uh retracement back down to the main and yeah the chart is still strong so if we don't get a reprint anytime soon which i'm expecting to get one soon one way or another um this card should retain some value but honestly i moved on from this investment and i'm a happy camper but if you don't have this card and you want to play labyrinth i mean you're, you're gonna have to pay that premium and run the risk um because who knows when we're gonna get a reprint for this card snake eyes flamber dragon at an all-time high of 18s almost pushing 20s we see a clear retracement back down to the mean here on the three month chart and uh yeah we cleaned this up janitor style 1650 still up there man a lot of people are speculating on this card five pages only 44 listings so i expect this to revisit the 20 dollar level and enter price discovery towards 25 as that possibility because the demand is just too great the card is needed um and age of overlord just continues to give man just to have that value another age of overlord cards, eh? Shh, areas but this one has dumped down hard areas the labyrinth butler 26s to 30s down to 17s mm, this one has hit has been hit hard i already moved my copy over there and whatnot i gave someone a deal um, so i'm glad for them and uh, 18s pushing 20s man so again if you're playing planning on playing a labyrinth a deck and you need a deck cord you need these i would be picking up right now i wouldn't be waiting because as we things start heating up Unless reprints come, these cards heading into NAWCQ Labyrinth is still a very competitive deck with the new support. So you want to make sure that you're in early. We have Solomon Great Raging Phoenix. This card is consolidating at 30s after pushing 40s. Um, the demand is, is high up there, but it's just extremely hard to get this card. And uh, yeah, I mean, a lot of fire hype. Um, and look at that, just straight consolidation. We expect the third leg up for this card as we get closer and closer to the release of the new core sets and the new fire support. Um, yeah, look at that, just they're stepping up. First leg up, retracing back down, second leg up, strong consolidation. In this case, we expect the third leg up, exceeding 37s to 40s, maybe even pushing 45 to 50s as that final leg up and final hype phase for this card. Then we have Bestial Dispater, this one, wow. Has dumped down strong guys this is not good it's not good we called 40s of 50s on bestial dissipator and we got it here it says 40s but i got to we, we we saw that this card reached 45s um when we last discussed it and now it's back down to 30s that's not good five pages 44 listings that is not good guys why because the trend is your friend until the end this card since it came out it wasn't an uptrend making higher highs and higher lows but this 30 dollar level is lower than the previous pivot low at 30 31 dollars here yeah it might not seem like a lot but the chart is down below this point of course still trying to hold on so we're going to give it a little more time but if you see this curving down and heading down towards 25s it should be a wrap for this card 
for the foreseeable future. Can it repump back up? Of course, anything is possible, but the trend would be over. And then now a new trend would start where we would have a new pivot low and then we would expect a lower high and just continue on down towards these prices as we get closer to a possible reprint. And we have Sleepner, the Runic Main. Look at that. This card says 14 fit, but look, it's pushing 15s and eventually 1750s. 13 listings only, guys. Two pages. A lot of people coming in for this card from Duelist Nexus. Um, and uh, yeah, a lot of people forgot about Duelist Nexus cards like this, but still holding value. I can see this card being 20s sooner rather than later, guys. And lastly, new Centurion hype and support came out. Um, you know, and uh, you know, support for Valiant Smasher cards like Centurions. Honestly, you know, the potential is there for this deck to come in to the meta. But I mean, Memento is also getting new cards and things of that nature. But I don't make too much of it. Yeah, you've had a couple of bumps here, Allegatia, and on some of the Memento cards as well. You know, but honestly, look, from 20 to 22, is yeah, okay. I mean, yeah, I mean, you know what I mean? Not too much hype around it. Yeah, a lot of people are hyped about it, but uh, yeah, I mean, I don't make too much of it unless, you know, I see it come out and actually do something, um, which it could, it could. You know, a lot of hype around it, but even Emblema Oath, let's see. So it's 27s, yeah, I mean, bumping up $5 there. Yeah, but I mean, these cards were already hard to get. You know what I mean? These cards extremely hard to get ultra rares from valia smashers no one's cracking these open so if you wanted to play these cards hopefully you were picking them up as we retrace back down to the main um so that's just my thoughts with regards to that guys if you made it this far out into the video you guys are the straight mvps hopefully you continue to enjoy the content you know the voice is better compared to last week and the week before that but still you know when i talk for a long amount of time you know it still feels like uh it gets tired or you know a little bit like you know, like I don't have a lot of voice and things of that nature. Um, but yeah, it's just still drinking the tea. Shout out to Jorge for that. Thank you so much. And I'm just glad um, that you guys, um, you know, are, are still here, man. For real. It means a lot. It means a lot that you guys watch, that you guys find value in my videos, that you guys comment. Um, I really appreciate all you guys. And the Yu-Gi-Oh! community is beautiful, honestly. You guys are the straight MVPs. Guys, thank you so much for your time, for your support, and for your attention. Stay fresh.